Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Sugar MD, the ultimate diabetes channel. Guys, today we are talking about a wonderful vegetable. Oh, hold on a second, it's a fruit. It is a fruit. Did you know that the eggplant was a fruit? That's amazing. So I'm going to talk about this amazing benefits of eggplant today especially for diabetes. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes educator. And let's get started, guys. All right, so eggplant is awesome. Look, I'm Turkish, if you didn't know. And for Turks, eggplant is the number one thing to consume in summer months, winter months, doesn't matter. They love their eggplants. Italians are the same. That's for a reason, man. It's very versatile. It is very good. You can make a lot of different dishes with the eggplant. If you're not used to it, get used to it. Look it up. There's so many recipes out there. Unbelievable. I mean, the eggplant goes so well with meat. Now, I always say don't eat red meat. You know what? When it comes to eggplant, go for it. Why? Eggplants are so high in fiber, uh, so high in fiber, so high in antioxidants that forget about diabetes, which we will talk about, don't forget about it. But diabetes beside, eggplants are amazing antioxidants. They basically reduce the chance of heart attack. They reduce their chance of cancer because of the antioxidant properties that the eggplants have. Now, one of the main reasons that the eggplants help is the fiber content in it. Now, how does it help diabetes? The verdict is out, but there is a compound in eggplant. For example, polyphenols. Polyphenols are suggested that they can help insulin secretion and insulin sensitivity. So what else do you want, right? So. Now, when it comes to the statistics, the numbers, some people just want to hear numbers, right? So it's very important. Let's talk about this. One cup of eggplant, one cup of eggplant only has five grams of carbs, five grams. Well, you're going to say, well, one cup of eggplant is really not much. How about a pound, a pound of eggplant? Even a pound of eggplant will only have 26 grams of carbohydrates. So you can have a whole one pound. Two pounds, two pounds is one kilograms for our European watchers, audience. So you can have total of 50 grams of carbs if you ate the whole one kilograms of eggplant. Now, if you roasted or sauteed or uh, however you cooked it, with some protein. This could be red meat, which is my favorite with the eggplant, but you can make it with turkey, you can make it with other meats, you can use a lot of olive oil. There's nothing wrong with using olive oil. It's one of the healthiest fats out there, and it's going to make a very nice a main dish. It can be a side dish, and it can be an appetizer. So if you have not tried any of these things, guys, go stop by the Italian restaurants or Turkish restaurants and ask for some eggplant dishes. You will realize how delicious they are. As a bonus feature, eggplants actually reduce your cholesterol, again, due to a lot of soluble fibers that actually binds the cholesterol in your intestinal system. And there you go, it reduces your cholesterol. Since it improves your insulin sensitivity, it reduces your cholesterol, it will overall improve your health and even help your blood pressure. What else is in eggplant? In one cup of eggplant, there are three grams of fiber, there's manganese, which is 10% of your daily needs, 5% of potassium, vitamin K, again, these are 5 to 10% of your needs for daily requirement. And finally, Last but not least, again, the weight loss, right? So we're always looking for ways to consume low-calorie vegetables. In this case, is a fruit, you know? So people are asking fruit, hey, can I have fruit, can I have fruit? I'm like, yeah, you can have eggplant. They're like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was asking about the, you know, the sweet ones. Oh, well, tomato, eggplant, these are all fruits, and they're good fruits, you know? There's nothing wrong with them. And yes, you can have fruits, a lot of fruits with those. So... 
And again, eggplant is very versatile, very low in carb, and it's going to help you lose weight as well because it's going to fill you up and it will keep you full longer. So I think it's one of the best diabetes foods out there. So try it and let me know what you guys think.